Shalom, welcome to Tactically Torah. I am Heath Hayes. Today is day 53 of Read the Bible in a Year. We are in Numbers chapter 26. We're reading 26 and 27. Uh, so yeah, got a good amount to read here. So we are on page 170 of the scriptures if you want to follow along. And let's just dive right in. Chapter 26, and it came to be after the plague that Yahweh spoke to Moshe and Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel from twenty years old above by their father's house. Everyone is going out into the army in Israel. So Moshe and Eleazar the priest spoke with them by uh, spoke with them in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people from twenty years old and above, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe and the children of Israel who came out of the land of Mitzrayim. Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, sons of Reuben, of Hanak, the clan of the Hanokites, of Palu, the clan of the Paluites. <coughs> Excuse me. Of Hetzron, the clan of the Hetzronites, of Carmi, the clan of Carmites. These are the clans of the Reubenites, and their registered ones were 43,730. And the son of Palu, Aliab, the sons of Aliab, Nemuel, and Dathan, and Abiram. This Dathan and Abiram were called the sons of the congregation who contended against Moshe and against Aaron and the company of Korah when they contended against Yahuwah. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died, and when the fire consumed 250 men, and they became a sign. But the sons of Korah did not die. Sons of Shimon, according to their clans, of Nimuel, the clan of the Nimuelites, of Yamin, the clan of the Yemenites, uh, Yakin, the clan of the Yakinites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zarites, and Shaul, the clan of the Shaulites. These are the clans of the Shemanites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, according to their clans, of Siphon, the clan of the Siphonites, of Haggai, the clan of the Haggites, and the, of Shuni, the clan of the Shunites, um, of Ozni, the clan of the Oznites, of Eri, the clan of the Erites, uh, of Erod, the clan of the Erodites, of Areli, the clan of the Aralites. Uh, these are the clans of the sons of Gad, according to their registered ones, 43,500. I'm sorry, 40,500. Sons of Yehuda, Er and Onan, and Aaron and Onan died in the land of Canaan, the sons of Yehuda, according to their clans, of Shelah, the clan of the Shelanites, of Peretz, the clan of the Par Partsites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zarites, and sons of Peretz, of Hetzron, the clan of the Hetzronites, of Hamul, the clan of the Hamulites. These are the clans of Yehuda, according to their registered ones. 76,500. Sons of Yisachar, according to their clans, of Tola, the clans of the Toalites, of Pua, the clan of the Punites, of Yashub, uh, the clan of the Yashbu Yashubites, um, of Shimron, the clan of the Shimronites. These are the clans of Yisachar, according to their registered ones, 64,300. Sons of Zebulun, according to their clans, of Sered, the clan of the uh, Sardites, of Elon, the clan of the Elonites, of Yala, ya, Yalael, the clan of the Yalalites, Yalaelites. Yeah, that one's hard. These are the clans of the Zeb. Zebulonites, according to their registered ones, 60,500. Sons of Yosef, according to their clans, by Manasseh and Ephraim. Sons of Manasseh, of Makir, 
the clan of the Machirites, and Machir brought forth Gilad of Gilad, the clan of the Galadites. These are sons of Gilad, of Aizer, uh, the clan of the Aizerites, of Helek, the clan of the Helekites, Asriel, of Asriel, the clan of the Asrielites, from Shechem, of Shechem, the clan of the Shechemites, of Shemida, the clan of the Shemideites, of Hefer, the clan of the Heferites, and Selophad, son of Hefer, had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Selophad, Mala, and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza. These are the clans of Manasseh in their registered ones, 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim, according to their clans. Shuthela, the clan of the Shuthelites of Bekir, the clan of the Bakarites, Bakrites, of Tahan, the clan of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shuthela, the of Iran, the clans of the Iranites. Uh, these are the clans of the sons of Ephraim, according to their registered ones, 32,500. Excuse me. These are the sons of Yosef, according to their clans. Sons of Benjamin, according to their clans, of Bela, the clan of the Belites, Beleites, of Ashbel, the clan of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the clan of the Ahiramites, of Shephun, Shephufam, the clan of the Shephufamites, of Hufam, the clan of the Hufamites, and sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the clan of the Ardites, of Naaman, the clan of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin, according to their clans and their registered ones, 45,600. These are the, the sons of Dan, according to their clans of Shuham. The clan of the Shuhamites, these are the clans of Dan, according to their clans. All the clans of the Shuhamites, according to their registered ones, 64,400. Sons of Asher, according to their clans of Yimna, the clan of the Yimnahites, of Yishui, the clan of the Yishwites, of Beriah, the clan of the Berites, of the sons of Beriah, of Heber, the clan of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the clan of the Malkielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sirah. These are the clans of the sons of Asher according to their registered ones, 53,400. Sons of Naphtali according to their clans of Yatseel, <coughs> the clan of the Yatseelites of Guni, the clan of the Gunites of Yetzer, the clan of the Yetzerites of Shilem, the clan of the Shilamites, these are the clans of Naphtali, according to their clans and their registered ones, 45,400. These are the registered ones of the children of Israel, according, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the children of Israel, 601,730. 601,730 men. It's a big army. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, The land is to be divided as the to these as an inheritance according to the number of names. To the large one you give a larger inheritance, to the small one you give a smaller inheritance. Each one shall be given its inheritance according to their registered ones. <coughs> but the land is divided by lot. They inherit according to the names of the tribes of their fathers according to the lot of their inheritance is divided between the larger and the smaller. 
and these are the registered ones of the Levites according to their clans of Gershon, the clan of the Gershonites, of Kehath, the clan of the Kehathites, of Merari, the clan of the Merarites. These are the clans of the Levites, the clan of the Lebnites, the clan of the Hebronites, the clan of the Mahalites, Mahalites, the clan of the Mushites, and the clan of the Korites. And Kehath brought forth Amram. And the name of Amram's wife was Yochebed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Mitzrayim. And Amram she bore, and to Amram she bore Aaron and Moshe, their sister Miriam, and their sister Miriam. And to Aaron were born Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they brought strange fire before Yahweh, and their registered ones were 23,000. Every male from a new moon old and above, for they were not registered among the other children of Israel because there was no inheritance given to them. Sorry, verse 60. And to Aaron were born Nadab and Abihu and Eleazar and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they brought strange fire before Yahuwah. And their registered ones were 23,000, every male from a new moon old and above, for they were not registered among the other children of Israel because there was no inheritance given to them among the children of Israel. Remember, their inheritance was uh, uh, to be in service to the temple of the Father and a part of the tithe of all the people uh, was to provide for the Levites. Um, so verse 63, these are the ones registered by Moshe and Eleazar the priest who registered the sons of Israel in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Jericho. But among these, there was not a man of those registered by Moshe and Aaron the priest when they registered the sons of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. Meaning they had all passed off. They were all passed away. They were dead. 65. For Yahweh said to them, They shall certainly die in the wilderness. And not a man was left of them except Caleb, son of Yehona, and Yehoshua, son of Nun. All right. Chapter 27. Then came the daughters of Salofada. Salo Fahad, son of Hefer, son of Gilad, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, from the clans of Manasseh, son of Yosef. These, these are the names of his daughters, Malah, Noah, Hogla, Milcah, and Tirzah. And they stood before Moshe and before Eleazar the priest and before the leaders of all the congregation by the door of the tenth appointment, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, yet he was not in the company of those who were met together against Yahuwah in company with Korah, but he died in his own sin. And he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be removed from among his clan because he had no son? Give us a possession among our brothers of our father. Moshe then brought their case before Yahuwah, and Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, The daughters of Sophad speak what is right. You should certainly give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers, and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. And speak to the children of Israel, saying, When a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. It's important, guys. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give an inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the nearest relative in his clan, and he shall possess it. And it shall be to the children of Israel a law of right ruling, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Go up into the mount, into this mount, 
Abarim and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel when they and when you have seen it you also shall be gathered to your people as Aaron your brother was gathered because you rebelled against my mouth in the wilderness of Sin in strife of the congregation to set me apart at the waters before their eyes these were the waters of Meribah at Kadesh in the wilderness of Sin and Moshe spoke to Yahweh, saying, Let Yahweh, the Elohim of the spirits of all flesh, appoint man over the congregation, who goes out before them and comes in before them, who leads them out and brings them in, so that the congregation of Yahuwah be not like sheep without a shepherd. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Take Yehoshua, son of Nun, with you, a man in whom is the Spirit. And you shall lay your hand on him, and shall set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him command before their eyes. And shall put some of your esteem upon him, so that all the congregation of the children of Israel obey him. And he is to stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire before Yahweh for him by right ruling of the Urim. At his word they go out, and at his word they come in, both he and all, the con and all the children of Israel with him, all the congregation. And Moshe did as Yahweh commanded him, and took Yehoshua, and set him before Eleazar the priest before all the congregation, and laid his hands on him, and commissioned him as Yahweh had commanded by the hand of Moshe. And next one, we are reading... Chapters 28 through 30. Shalom.